The pilgrims are conspicuous as they walk along the sides of the highways, unrelenting in their quest to reach Namugongo Mata's shrine to present their petition to the Uganda Matas. Many of them have never heard of Salongo Revon Kato Kalema, a man whose miracle in 1961 was the turning point that led to the declaration of the Uganda martyrs as saints. We found the 65-year-old farmer at his home in Kakuto, LC1 village, Kakuto sub-county in Chotera district. On February the 3rd, 1959, Kalema was born a cripple. Those who saw him say it seemed like he had no bones in his legs. His feet were carved inwards. Such was the delivery that his mother died in labor. The lower part of my body was dead, almost useless. Immediately after my birth, my father died mysteriously. His aged grandmother, Kalala Chofuna Najemba, took care of the orphan child. All her children were dead and she only had two children left. In those days, if someone lost his or her relatives in quick succession, the neighbors would shun that home. But in the midst of those trials, my grandmother had faith in God. In 1906, the cause for the beautification of the Uganda martyrs was opened by the Roman Catholic Church. However, the requirement was that the dead martyrs should perform at least two miracles before they could be declared saints. They recorded their first miracle in 1941 when two nuns, Sister Alois Criblet and Sister Richardeles Buck, were healed of pneumonic plague when the relics of Charles Luanga and Matia Mulumba were placed on them at Rubaga Hospital. Previously, no one had survived the pneumonic plague. Twenty years later, in 1961, the martyrs performed their second recorded miracle when Bishop Joseph Chuanuka of Masaka Diocese announced that believers should pray for miracles through the martyrs. Female students of Bigada Primary School and nuns at the Sisters of Bawada Convent began a nine-day novena at Bigada Cathedral. They needed something to base the novena on, so one of them said there was an old woman with a crippled baby in his village. The girls collected Kalema and took him to the cathedral. They bathed him and fed him, and every day lay him on the altar and prayed the novena. Every day at half past midday, they would take me off the altar, back to the convent to feed and clean me. Three days before the end of the novena, on June the 14th, 1961, Kalema began crawling. He crawled from the altar to the steps of the church. God restored life to my dead legs and strengthened them. There was a lot of jubilation in the convent and the village. By evening, he was walking. The novena had three more days, so they decided to continue with the prayers. However, St. Matia Mulumba appeared to one of the nuns in a dream and asked her if they had not understood the miracle of my legs. He said the martyrs would perform the miracle of strengthening my feet. Seventy-three-year-old Teodoro Senyondo was in primary three when the miracle happened. The rule was that Boys could not interact with girls. But some boys who had sisters in that school told us there was a crippled child who was being laid on the altar and prayed over every day at midday. Kalema did not return home. When his grandmother died, he was taken up by the sisters of Buwanda who placed him in different homes as they oversaw his education. A white father called Pierre came and said he had been following my story. He requested to take me to Mulago Hospital, and the nuns agreed. 
Neba kiliza. Father na nkwata na antuale mulagu kampala. Kakati enki ndo zizi no. Ezo ukurongo sebo kwa angi. Zizi neno yonada. My feet were operated upon. Cut open and strengthened. This is what science did to complement the miracle. Science chino chiyakola. Okumaririze che unyo chichakola ko. The miracle was verified by the Vatican and in a book titled So Abundant a Harvest. On October the 18th, 1964, the martyrs were proclaimed saints by Pope Paul VI at St. Peter's Basilica in Rome, Italy. In 1979, the metal rods in Kalema's feet were removed because they had aged and were rusting. Now 65-year-old, Kalema thanks God for the many miracles he has performed in his life. However, old age has brought back some pain in his legs. When I walk long distances or do manual work, I feel pain. In March, I went to Masaka Hospital because whenever I would walk, I would feel like my feet are on fire. I was given medicine and now I'm fine. Kalema studied at Inkonyi Boys Primary School, St. Joseph's Technical School, Chiterede, Masaka Senior Secondary School. I joined the Apostles of Jesus in Moroto District because I wanted to become a priest. Then sent me to Langata in Kenya to start a novitiate and study philosophy. But God changed everything because I was the only survivor in my family. I had to replace those who had died. Kalema taught English and Christian religious education at St. Ioana Maria Muse in Bigada for five years before he retired into farming on the 10 acre piece of land his father left him. Kalema has been married for 33 years and the couple is blessed with 10 children four of whom are graduates and already in the workforce. Last Sunday, the cathedral in Bigada Parish launched a project that will oversee the construction of a memorial to the miracle that Kalema experienced.